Father George Panikal, some time back, he gave an example which I had shared with you some time back when I was speaking about this class, uh, on his class on anger. That was this. Suppose some one one of my enemies, for example, Jeremiah is my enemy. Suppose if he is my enemy and he comes and shouts at me and he was so angry with me and he was waiting for a chance to attack me. And I, one day I was, as I was doing the live streaming here, suppose Jeremiah came with a rotten egg and he threw the rotten egg on my face and hit, it hit here and all the rotten egg on my face, my whole body. And then he escaped after doing this. And he was so happy that he could do that. And I was standing like this with all these rotten egg on my face. Then all those people who are inside, all the volunteers, all the team members who are here, they said they were all very angry. They all were very angry with Jeremiah and they all said, Father, how could he do this? Then I said, I never did anything wrong to him, but he did this. He threw the rotten egg on my face and it is, uh, it is it's on my body. Now I have decided one thing. I'm not going to wash it. Let Jeremiah himself come and wash it. I'm not going to move from this place. And then I kept one chair and I'm sitting. Suppose if I sit on this chair and waiting for Jeremiah to come and wash it. And everybody, all the team members said, everyone inside the chapel, they said, Father, don't wash it. Let him come and wash. You did not do anything mistake. He did. So what he did, let him rectify it. He should wash it. And everyone is supporting me. And one hour is passed, two hours passed. Jeremiah took the next train and he went home. And now I'm sitting in this room, in this chapel, with this rotten egg on my face. And it's so dirty smell. Because of the smell, all the team members, one by one, slowly they, they said, excuse me, father. And they, one by one, they left the chapel. And they were standing outside the chapel and through the door, they said, father, don't worry. Go ahead. We are all with you. And they are standing outside. And the smell is reaching outside and they slowly left the, from outside. They knew they can't survive in this smell, smell because it's so dirty, dirty smell. But I'm still sitting there waiting for Jeremiah to come and wash. And slowly, slowly what happened? All my friends, all the team members, everyone, one by one, they left the center because of the smell. They love me, but because of these things that I'm carrying, they can't survive with me. So they decided to leave the center one by one and they made a phone call and said father joseph don't worry you sit there don't wash it let him come and wash and they are supporting me but what is the use i am carrying these i'm losing not only jeremiah but also all the team members all my friends everyone is escaping from me because i'm carrying these rotten egg on my face my dear brothers and sisters and this is exactly what happens to all those who are carrying hurt inside, unforgiveness inside. Anyone who is carrying unforgiveness inside and saying, let them come and ask forgiveness. Let them come and forgive me or let them come and beg for pardon and forgiveness from me. Then I will forgive. Otherwise, I'm not going to forgive. I'm not going to wash this unforgiveness from me. Those who say so, they are like people who are carrying rotten egg on their face. Slowly, not only you lose your enemy, but also you will lose your close friends. It will be very difficult for even for your wife or husband to stay with you. Because your behavior is changed. As long as you are carrying unforgiveness inside of you, your behavior will be affected. Your character will be uh, disfigured. And it is very difficult to live with you. Have you seen many people whom with whom you cannot live because they are very hot tempered and no control on the emotions, very angry people, unexpected, unpredictive. They get angry without any reason. How can somebody survive in with this person? Because they are carrying lots of hurt feelings inside, lots of rejections and unforgiveness inside. As long as this unforgiveness inside, they are carrying rotten egg on their face. Nobody can come closest to them. So slowly they will lose everyone. That is why some people, no one can make friendship with them. Because no friendship will survive more than one week. My dear brothers and sisters, 
this is how we if we don't forgive others if you carry unforgiveness and anger inside we need forgiveness let's beg for pardon and forgiveness and say lord i'm sorry forgive me lord wash me cleanse me i've decided to go and beg for forgiveness and pardon from all my enemies i will never keep hatred and anger against anyone anymore even if they are wrong i'm going to beg for forgiveness because i want to wash myself i want to wash this dirty rotten neck one from my face my body i want to remove this unholiness and dirty smell from me so i need to forgive and i need to ask for forgiveness let's promise to jesus the lord is going to help you